Well, well, well. What do we have here? Wop uh, I bet you thought I was gonna like hit the box out of the way. I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. Now today we're gonna actually unbox nothing. All been unboxed. It's right, oh, that was my phone. Here it is. I wanted to show you a pedal that I recently got. Now this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. I have no affiliation with, I don't even know who makes this pedal, Source Audio. Uh, this is a pedal that my friend, my evil friend, Michael Nielsen talked me into. He talked me out of a, a different pedal and into this one, and I'm very happy that he did that. Um, I needed a very particular pedal for what I want to do here. I want to explain this setup. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I have my amps all kind of wired together. Uh, how can I have all these amps on at the same time? And I'm going to show you why this pedal was so crucial to the whole thing. So this pedal is called the Collider. It is a delay and reverb. So it might not seem like the most exciting pedal, but I had a problem and it 150,000 percent. That's a pretty good percentage, right? It solved it. And I'll, I'll show you exactly why here in just a second. Let's hook it all up. I'm going to um, turn the amps on and it's going to be smoking hot in here. But Yo, let's rock out and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Fair one. So basically, well, the way I have it set up is I have four of my amps all, I can have them on all at the same time and I can switch between them as well as switch between cabs in the room. Uh, it's all because of this switcher I got a while ago. I made a video about this it's called the KHE. I don't know the exact model of it. I'll link it down below. But basically I can have four amps, four cabinets, and four effects loops all at the same time. So I can run all the effects loops of all my amps into that switcher and then it has uh, a master effects loop so I can run this pedal or any pedal into the front of the effects loop and I have this effect in all the amps now that sounds like well any delay and reverb would work for that right right no it doesn't because I, I was using before was I was using a carbon copy which sounds great I love carbon copies and I had the Hall of Fame reverb which sounds good now the issue is Every amp, I don't, I don't want the exact same delay and I don't want the exact same reverb. So I needed something that I could save presets on. Four amps, four presets. So this is really where this is like the perfect solution for what I had. Um, and I didn't want like a, uh, what's the thing, the line, the helix or any, any of those kinds of things. I wanted something very simple. Quick, easy, simple. That's what I wanted it to be. And then uh, the cabinets, I have my rev cab, 2x12, and my... Uh, a Friedman 2x12 over there, as well as my two notes. And that all goes into my interface. So it, it might sound complex when you're explaining every little step of it all, but um, I assure you it's actually very simple. Like I'm I'm an idiot when it comes to this stuff. So um, if I can figure it out, yeah, trust me, you guys can too. So the four amps I have um, active right now, they're not on, but they're in the loop, is the, the old 80s JCMA 100, the Friedman, which I've been using more for cleans, my green rev, that's a generator, that's more of my high gain tone, and then the orange reverb. Now the orange is interesting because it already has reverb in it, so I don't have the reverb on in this preset. And, I, and I'm going to tell you something I don't like about this pedal too, uh, as well as we get in here. But anyways, let's go ahead and get down. I want to show you guys what the pedal sounds like and how it works with this whole shebang. <laughs> All right, so here's why this pedal, like I said, was so important. The different presets I could save, and it's still very simple. Now, like I said, this is the Friedman, so it's set to clean, and I have a much more ambient delay, which is not something I want on all the amps all the time, and I don't want to have like 20 different pedals to try to do this stuff. I want one pedal that can sit here on my desk, and I can adjust it as needed. Like I said, that's not the delay that I want uh, on, you know, a super high gain sound. You can hear, what well, I'll switch amps, and you can hear exactly how it's not the ideal setting for, like, the rev, you know? It's, it's all running together. It's, it's messy. I don't like it. Now, on the rev, though, like I said, I, now the um, Friedman was a true spring delay, or delay, reverb, and then an analog delay was the setting. So then I simply switched to the Rev, which is a more high gain amp. Now I have, I have P90, so it's not the most high gain sound with this thing per se, but I have a plate reverb. Okay, it's kind of going for that EVH thing. And then uh, analog, which I think, I think Eddie used a plate, didn't he? Maybe not. 
completely different setting for completely different amps. And I can't tell you how many times I was over there tweaking with the Hall of Fame and the carbon copy because I'd be like, oh, I want to go to the orange or whatever amp it is. And I'd be like, shoot, that just sounds horrible with that amp. And I would need to go over there and dial everything. Now I don't have to do that. Um, I have it set to lock too. So even if I turn the dot knobs by mistake, it doesn't matter. It locks in the preset. So um, then, like I said, I go, to the, I go to the orange. Now this is one problem I have with the pedal that I don't like that it does this. When I go to setting number three, um, notice how, uh, like I said, the orange already has reverb on it. Now, I don't want to use the pedal reverb. I, there's no way to save it that the reverb is just off for this setting. You have to click it off, uh, which might seem like a dumb, dumb thing to complain about. And I'm not really complaining. It's not like a big deal. It takes two seconds. But I do think that it would be better if it would turn itself off. Like, you could truly save every parameter of the preset because I don't want the reverb on. I just want the delay. Now I have it set to a, a digital delay, like I said, for the orange, which I'm on an orange right now. You hear. Real low in the mix. I don't have it like soaked in delay. Go to the Marshall. I want the reverb back on. I'm trying to not move the pedal too much. And then I go to the, um, whatchamacallit, setting four. So I'll use the pedal with some different guitars because I figured, you know, if, if someone is interested in purchasing one, you might want to hear it with something different than just P90. So I'll grab a few different guitars here and try to not knock the gold top over and send its headstock toppling. Uh, so let's go back to the cleans. I got the PRS here. So you can hear, uh, this is actually a split humbucker sound. So if you're uh, into that thing, now that's setting four, but watch, I go back to setting one, sing Technology, God. Now I could easily be like, eh, you know, I want a little bit more. I want something different on there for that one. So you have this little switch. I set it to the reverb and now I can actually adjust the reverb. I'm going to change it to a shimmer. Okay. And then uh, since I didn't save it, the, that won't be like overwritten on the preset. Now I'll set this back to lock. What I did was I, uh, there's a little switch. I turn it to reverb. Then it turns all the you know all the parameters into reverb controls. Switch it to delay. Turns it all to uh, delay controls. Um, now let's go to uh, let's go to the rev. We'll do that one again uh, with this one. Like I said, a higher gain. These are humbuckers now. I'm I'm full humbuggy mode. <laughs> Uh, what else? Uh, I'll give you guys one more, one more guitar, uh, something stratty. Hold on one second. All right, so we're back on the Friedman clean. Now, 
now let's go to uh, let's go to the orange this time, and we're gonna leave the reverb on. Okay, so that's setting three, and we'll have a real nice big reverb. I, I like a lot of reverb in those sounds with the strat. Um, here, it sounds it sounds nice like that, right? So there you have it guys, super cool little pedal, like I said, solved the problem for me, so maybe if you have a similar setup with a switcher or you're just running multiple amps and you don't want to have the same delay for everything, uh, this could be a really good solution for you. So check one out, like I said, completely not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Check one out if you feel like it, if not, hey, it's cool. Uh, it works for me, so that's all, all I can say about it. So on that guys, I will see you all later, I'll play you some rhythm out of here, and uh, just have a good rest of your day guys, let's go back to the... Let's go back to the Friedman. I, I was digging the ambient sound, and maybe we'll go back to the uh, a little bit of the shimmer sound on there as well. Mm -hmm.